So before we begin this video, I want to show you how you can get a lot of different Logic Pro music production courses for free. If you go to music-prod.com, you will see a list of different music production courses. And they are available for free for a limited time. Okay guys, so in this test, I'm going to show you a project file with a lot of different third-party plugins running at the same time with the same notes. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the MIDI region here. So the MIDI region is just playing the same notes here, and it's six notes playing at the same time in a chord progression. So that's the same MIDI regions for all of the tracks we have here in this project. So first we're using a Nexus plugin with the piano sound loaded up inside here. And it's running seven instances of this Nexus plugin in this project. So there we have seven. And the next plugin we're using is the silent plugin. So silent plugin here. And uh, using the dance lead preset. Same thing goes here, seven instances of that. Then we have the Serum plugin using this preset, Festival Bees. And we have seven instances like that. And then we have the Diva plugin that has this preset. And same thing goes here, seven instances of that as well. Yeah, and then. Um, so let's just play this, and I'm going to show you the performance meter, meter first, of course, but then I'm going to go over to the activity monitor so you can see uh, CPU handling and RAM handling as well. And you can see the CPU is almost maxed out here, and this was... Uh, the whole thing about doing this project file and this test because I want to have a project file that is maxing out the Mac Mini and then compare it to the iMac 27 10 core i9 processor and see how that project file is doing on that computer. So let's uh, go over to the activity monitor here and let's see how it handles the CPU first. So let's play the project file. Yeah, so now it's on the edge uh, of giving me a system overload, and so it's really maxed out. We have the plugins that I'm using, the Silent, the Nexus plugin, and the Diva plugin, so, and also the Serum plugin. And I also have Waves plugins installed, and all of them work fine. Uh, I haven't noticed any problems at all with them, just so, uh, so it's out there. And uh, yeah, Almost all plugins works besides the native instruments plugins as of now. So if we go to the activity monitor and go back to the memory here, we can see the memory section. So let's play it. So you can see that Logic is using 520 megabytes plus here 500 something and this one as well because this is the emulation 1.5 gigabytes so around 2.5 gigabytes and this is a bit strange i'm going to uh, describe what i mean when we go back to the imac 27 inch and compare that because the imac 27 inch with the same project file uses a lot less ram than this Mac Mini M1. And this might be because of uh, the emulation process and all of that. But yeah, let's see how, the, how it goes on the iMac and let's compare that as well. Okay guys, so now we're in the iMac 27 inch. Let's play this out. Let's go and choose the performance meter here so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to switch over to the activity monitor so you can see what's going on with the CPU and RAM as well. So you can see uh, it hovers around 50%, actually under that, 
So uh, yeah, it performs very good, but still the Mac Mini, as I said before, it's just the base model uh, and it shouldn't be like a performance machine. This iMac is comparable to the iMac Pros actually, so uh, performance wise. So that's why, uh, yeah, and it's a lot pricier as well. So, okay, so let's take a look at the activity monitor. Yeah, now the RAM shows uh, a lot less actually, it sh only shows 876 megabytes of RAM being used by Logic, so uh, that's, uh, that's strange. I'm going to restart the project on this iMac and see if something else is going on with the RAM. Okay, so we're back in Logic now and you can see uh, the RAM by being used by this project here is now 1 and 67 gigs, so uh, yeah, it's still a big difference between the Mac. I mean, the Mac used a lot more RAM. It used around two, almost three gigabytes. So that is a bit strange. I thought that the Mac mini was going to be handling the RAM better than this machine. This could of course be because the emulation itself takes up more resources uh, because logic itself on that machine was, wasn't taken up RAM at all. But of course, I'm using almost all resources in this plugins here, so that's why the emulation is where the resources are going to be in. It's the RAM thing here, I'm not quite sure, but for music production, I think that the ROM here is going to be as important as before, as with the Intel processors. So I'm, I'm not going to... And I mean, if the plugins are changing to supporting uh, M1 chips and the silicon chipset, of course, I think they will handle RAM much better than Intel, with Intel processors. But as of now, and this is going to be taking a long time before we see plugins like, let's say, uh, Silent, for instance, that's going to take a long time. But plugins like Serum, I mean, the Serum guys, X4 Records, are, uh, are geeks. <laughs> and uh, I think they, they would or make the transition to the M1 chipset a lot faster than others. And Serum is a CPU uh, heavy plugin as well. And of course, with the Diva plugin, I read some of your comments there and uh, also noticed the link there with the U U -H -E, um hhe told that, that they will do the transition pretty fast. And one more thing here, the IMAX fans runs a bit higher when I play this project. I mean, I can't, I can barely he hear it, but I still can hear it. On a Mac Mini, though, I never heard any fans. It's like it's fanless. And I don't know if that's a good thing, because I want the CPU to be performing as much as, as it can. And uh, if it can perform better, but... I mean, like, the fans have to kick in because it has to cool down the CPU to make the CPU perform better. I think that should be it, like it is on all other computers. But... For now, uh, I don't know why the fans aren't kicking in and the CPU goes in the maximum and still I can't hear the fans, so I don't know if that's uh, something going on there or a bug or something, I don't know. Okay, this is it for this test and see you in the next video.